Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing how to solve systems of linear equations by substitution. So a prior knowledge that you need to know regar um, regarding our topic for today would be firstly, you know how to substitute and next is you know how to manipulate values, okay? Just like in our previous topic which is um manipulations or algebraic manipulations okay so let's start with our um first example say we have negative 4x plus y is equal to 6 sorry the bracket i braces and then negative 5x minus y is equal to 21 so this is a system okay and in our previous topic we have the solutions of systems of linear equations we have the answer there already we are just simply checking whether it it's um, correct for the first and second equation. Okay. But as for this, what we are aiming here is we need to solve for the exact solution itself. So there will be no solution, but you just need to find the values for your x and your y. Okay. So let's go now to our first step. Or yeah, step number one, which is um, you need to take one equation and express in any variable okay so you will take one equation and you will express that given in any variable okay in terms of say if in terms of x in terms of y and so on okay so just one tip when you are expressing the given in any variable so, okay, just a side note here. Expressing the variable would be easier for you if you express the given in a variable that has no numerical coefficient. It is a positive variable. And yeah, in this case, we don't have exponents. So, we'll just have with this Okay, no numerical coefficient and it has a positive variable. So in this case, let's take a look at the given. This has a numerical coefficient, this one. So out na. So in this one has numerical coefficient as well, so out. This two has no numerical coefficient, right? But within this two, this is negative, so we don't like that. This one is positive, so that would be the best choice. But then again, that is just the best choice. Taking any, um, expressing an equation in any variable is also okay, okay? It's also okay. So maybe, for example, I want to, I will take equation number one and I will express this in terms of x. So it's okay, I can still solve for it, okay? So it does not matter whatever you, whatever equation you take and whatever variable. This is just a guide for you to take the easiest path towards the solution, okay? So, let's make our lives a little bit hard. Let's take equation number 1. Equation number 1. Okay. Equation number 1. Maybe let's change the step to step A. Let's change it to say A. Okay. So, step A, take the equation. Okay. Equation number 1 will give us the... I think, um, yeah, so let's take equation number 1. We have negative 4x plus y is equal to 6, okay? So, what we need to do here is I want to express this in terms of x. I want to express this in terms of x. Meaning, all the values on all coefficients and variables beside x will be transposed to the other side. So, let's start transposing. Negative 4x is equal to 6 minus y. Next, negative, uh, sorry. We need to transpose this times negative 4 to the other side, leaving us with x is equal to 6 minus y all over negative 4. So now that we have this value of x, the next step or step letter B would be substitute, substitute whatever you got in step A, okay, to the other equation okay 
So whatever you got on ano, whatever you got on step A, you will substitute it to the other equation. Since we use equation one, so the other equation is of course equation number two. So we will use equation number two. In equation number two, the value there is negative five x minus y is equals to twenty one. And the value for our x from equation um step letter A is x is equals to six minus y over negative four. This is our x value. So meaning when it comes to substitution, all the values of x on our equation will be substituted by the value of x in the in this one. Yeah. In in this this expression, okay, we'll replace all the values of x here. Okay. So let, let me show you what's what's going to happen. So that would be negative 5. All the values of x will be replaced with this one. So this would be 6 minus y over negative 4. Minus y is equals to 21. Okay? So the next thing that we need to do here is a little bit of um arithmetic. Okay? Just arithmetic, we multiply first 5, negative 5 to the numerator only because that is how multiplication and fraction works. So let's start. Negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. Negative 5 times negative y is positive 5y all over, sorry, let me fix that, all over negative 4 minus y. So again, our goal here is we need to solve for the other variable. Okay, Solving for the other variable means I need to leave all the y's on one side and I need to leave all the constants on the other side. Okay, All non-y's on the other side. So meaning this y will stay here. Okay, This y will stay here. But this negative 4 has to go because why? Remember I told you in our algebraic manipulation that I cannot transpose this negative 30 and this 5 if there is still something covering them, which is of course this entire fraction bar guarded by this negative 4. So I need to transpose this negative 4 to the other side. Since this is division, it would, uh, it would go to multiplication. But then again, I did discuss to you before on other videos that when I want to eliminate this one and the other given are not under the division sign or the fraction, it would also go to this one, to negative y. Okay? So basically what would happen here is if I want to cancel the negative 4, I would multiply both sides by negative 4, meaning I need to multiply all the terms by negative 4. So this would cancel it, but this one would be given also to y, and this one would be given to 21 leaving us with negative 30 plus 5y. Negative 4 times negative y, the answer is positive y. Negative 4 times um, negative 21, I think the answer is um, negative 84, I guess. Okay, negative 84. Next one, we will have um, 5y and y, similar term, 6y is equals to negative 84, Transpose 30, it would become plus 30, leaving us with 6y is equals to, um, I forgot the answer, I think it's 50, 56. Uh, is it correct? 84, wait, is it 84? Yeah, it's 84. Okay, that's 84 plus minus 30. The answer is 54. Oh, okay, yeah, no, no, it's 54. So negative 54. And we divide both sides by 6, or meaning we just simply need to transpose this. Um, times 6 to the other side, right? So we will have y is equals to negative 54 divided by 6. And the answer there would simply be, wait, I'm not sure about my answer. 54 divided by 6, I'm not good at arithmetic, leaving us with negative 9. Take note, it's negative 9. The value for y is negative 9. So if that would be the case, negative 9, Meaning, here, okay, on the top here, the value of x is still unknown, but the y is negative 9 already, okay? So, we now have the value for y. And let's double check our equation. 4 times 5, oh, wait, uh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, oh, wait lang. Um, I think we got something mixed up here. 
the, in this part, in this part. So let's change our answer here. Because I do believe that that y should be multiplied still with, yeah, okay, that's good. So this y should be negative, negative 4y. Ah, okay, there you go. So this would be 21. Okay, I ah, know this is 84, negative 84. Okay, so let's resolve that. This will leave us with, okay, that's 9y is equals to negative 84 plus 30. Ah, okay, so we will just interchange the value. This is negative 54 divided by 9, divided by 9, leaving us with y is equals to negative 6. So let's just change the one above. This would just simply be negative 6. Okay, so now we proceed to the step letter C. Now in step letter C, the important part here is you have to um, take any equation. Okay, so basically step number C would be substitute, substitute whatever you got in step B to any equation. So this would be flexible now. So you will take any equation from the system, any equation from the system. Okay, so you will take any equation from the system, it's up to you. Just substitute negative 6. So let's take, say, you would want to take, since you haven't taken equation 2 yet, so let's take equation 2. Okay, equation 2 would be, would be, equation, oh sorry, the color is wrong. Okay, equation 2 would be negative 5x minus y is equal to 21. And our value for y now, okay, because that is what we get in step P, is equals to negative 6. Meaning all y's here will be replaced with negative 6. Easy enough. Why? Because it's already just a single value. So this is negative 5 minus negative 6 is equal to 21. Double negative, right? So that would be negative 5x plus 6 is equal to 21. Negative 5x is equal to 21 minus 6. And lastly, um, second to the last. Negative 21 minus 6 is 15. And divide both or transpose times negative 5 will leave us with negative uh, with 15 divided by negative 5. And x should be negative 3. So you now have the value for y and you now have the value for x which is of course negative 3. Okay. And lastly, for us to um, determine whether our given or our solution, this is our solution now, to determine whether our solution is correct or not, we just simply need to do the checking by substituting the solution to both equations in the system. So remember, our system would be, um, it's negative 4x plus y is equals to 6. And our, ne our other is negative 5 minus y is equal to 21. And our solution is negative 3 and negative 6. Let's try to solve. Negative 4 times negative 3 plus negative 6 is equal to 6. Negative 5 times negative 3 minus negative 6 is equal to 21. And lastly... Negative 4 times negative 3 would be positive for a 12. It would be positive 12. And 12 minus negative 6 is equal to 6. So we have this as correct. As a 6 is equal to 6. And lastly, we have negative 5 times negative 3. The answer is positive 15. And double negative, it would become plus. 15 plus 6 would be 21. Leaving us with a balance equation. Correct for both equations in the system. Therefore, our solution is correct. Okay? So, again, if the solution fits all the equations in the system, then, therefore, your solution is correct. And this would be one example. Okay? One example of solving systems of linear equation by substitution. Okay? So, this is, of course, took a little bit of a while. Because we did some explanation on the steps. But let's try to solve this one 
in a faster way. Okay? By just simply um, solving it naturally. Okay? You know, without the explanation of the steps. Okay? So, let's say we have our equation. Next equation being negative 5x plus y is equal to negative 2. And we have negative 3x plus 6y is equal to negative 12. So, again, let's use our, uh, our, our easier way. Always take the variable on the equation that has no numerical coefficient and not negative. Okay? So, let's take equation 1. Equation 1, so we will have negative 5x plus y is equal to negative 2. y is equal to negative 2 plus 5x. First step, letter A. Okay? So, next one, let's take equation number 2. From equation number 2, okay, we have negative 3x plus 6y is equal to negative 12. And our value for the y that we have is y is equal to negative 2 plus 5x. Substituting the value of y on any given value here on the second equation will leave us with negative 3x plus 6 times negative 2 plus 5x equals to negative 12. So, you might be wondering, sir, bakit naging ganyan? Remember, the value, the y here is equal to this expression. So, meaning the entire y here will be replaced with this expression. Okay? So, yan. Okay? Solving now for the only variable here, which is x. Okay? So, but first, we need to manip um, simplify. Okay? Let's multiply first. Because this is a multiplication, right? So, we need to multiply 6 times negative 2. The answer is negative 12. And 6 times 5, the answer is positive 30x is equal to negative 12. Okay? So, what would happen here is we need to put all the x's together and all the constants on the other side. 30x and negative 3x, similar term, but they have dissimilar signs. Meaning, we will subtract. So, we will have 27x is equals to... Are we correct? Yeah, 27 is equals to... We have negative 12 transposed to the other side. It would become negative 12 plus 12. Leaving us with 27x is equals to 0. Solve for the x. Just simply divide everything by 27. 27x would give you a value of 0. So, you have already solved for the x. And take a note, guys. It's okay to have a solution of a 0. Okay? Now, the last step would be taking this value of x and substituting it to any given equation. And the best equation that I'd, I would take would be equation number 1. Equation number 1 is negative 5x plus y is equal to negative 2. And our value for x is equal to 0. Okay? So, what would happen here? So, this would be negative 5 times 0 plus y is equal to negative 2. Okay? So, canceling that because this is already 0. So, leaving you with y is equal to negative 2. So, you have your solution being x is 0 and y is equal to negative 2. So, let's just write it here on the side. Your solution is x is 0 and y as negative 2. Checking po. So, let's do the checking. Now, as for the checking, we just simply need to substitute the following um, solution to our system. And our system would be this one. Is this, is this the one? I hope, I hope so. Okay. So, yeah. So, our given is 0 and negative 2. Substitute po natin. So, this would leave us with, um, sorry. Let me just rewrite that. Negative 5 times 0 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 2. And we have negative 3 times 0 plus 6 times negative 2 is equal to negative 12. This would automatically be cancelled out because that is 0. So, what would be left here is this one. So, this is correct. Because negative 2 is equal to negative 2. But on this case, 6 times negative 2, negative 12. Again, they are equal because this is negative 12 and this is negative 12. Leaving you with both correct for the first and second equation in the system. Therefore, if they are both correct, then our solution is correct. Okay? So, again, 
this would be a method of solving for the system. This is just one method. If you would have any other questions, you can um, view the video again or you can just simply chat me in our chat box so that I can address your issues. So again, thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.